This Dallas Cowboys practice facility is a new experience for anyone who steps inside the extravagant structure. It's amazing for a practice facility. We lovely, lovingly refer to this as Jerry World 2. <laughs> Huge. And cool. This is the best in the NFL as of right now, the practice facility but it's a huge place. And it's a place Nakia Cody will get the chance to take advantage of as he is one of the Cowboys Football Academy's head instructors. His camp for kids aged 6 to 13 has been traveling to different locations summer after summer trying to find a central site. Now, that will be the star. It will be a great opportunity for kids in this area and other areas also to see this new stadium. Jordan Massanelli doesn't plan on joining the Cowboys Football Academy, but he is in the marching band for Frisco's Reedy High School, one of the first two schools on the field. It was incredible. Like I was, I was excited that I got to come here for free. While teenagers like Jordan from the eight Frisco ISD high schools get to come here for free every Thursday and Friday during high school football season, this wasn't a flippant arrangement. Frisco ISD invested $30 million to be a true partner of the star. Everybody in, in sports talks about partnerships. Everybody, whenever they build a new stadium, this is a partnership between the city and the, and the team. But this seems to me to be more of a true partnership. Michael Lisko has built SMU's sports management program into the best of its kind in the DFW area and has an extensive background in sports management, marketing, and law. He sees the store as a complex being built in the right city at the right time. This is a brand play as much as it is a real estate play. You're making it an area where people can, can feel and touch and be part of the brand that is the Cowboys. In building this new hub, the Cowboys used an economic approach known as positive externality, similar to how many golf courses will surround their front and back nines with residential housing, raising the value of both. So in building the star, Jerry Jones hasn't just settled for building a practice facility. He has surrounded the star with other assets, such as this soon to be retail and entertainment district, and then almost directly connected to the Ford Center will be an Omni Hotel, enhancing the value of all parties involved. That's the thinking here, that the retail facility and the Cowboys facility have positive impacts on each other and that gives them an advantage in the market. The bottom line is he's hoping to make money with this. While Jerry Jones has shown time and time again he is a business leader separating the Cowboys from the pack with sensible foresight, the ability to make money out of his eventual 1.5 billion 91 acre facility would probably not have been possible without a rapidly up and coming city in Frisco and a state with some of the best job creation. Frisco is a place where lots of new people to the area are going. It's going where Plano is. I mean if you go back 20 years, that's uh, the story of Frisco now was the story of Plano then. Well, we see everybody moving to the large urban areas because of all the amenities, so it's an incredibly well-developed city. It's not just where it's located, it's using real estate to its greatest advantage and not just thinking of one thing alone. So the world's most valuable sports franchise, according to Forbes, has upped the ante by creating a revenue stream that benefits the Cowboys, the city of Frisco, Frisco ISD, and all third parties involved. Jerry Jones has changed what has been universally known as a standalone sports-centric structure into an unparalleled multi-use profit center. In Frisco, Jay Wallace, CBS 19.